Should Lord of the Flies be banned? Let's talk about that. What is up everybody? It is Luke Wiley here today with another book talk for you. You know what? I think my last book talk was way back in seventh grade. Oh! Oh. Host? I'm all you got. Oh, it's crazy. Anyway, we're going to be talking about Lord of the Flies today, a complete classic of any American literature written by William Golding. Kind of like that R.R. Tolkien, the guy who made those Lord of the Flies movies. Real fancy. I'm doing this book talk on Lord of the Flies in honor of Banned Book Week. What's a banned book, you might ask? That's any book that's been challenged, forbidden, or taken away from public libraries. Reasons for the book's banning can range from inappropriate content, uh, dangerous messages, and a whole bunch of other reasons that a public library or someone else thinks that the book should not be allowed to be read. Many classic books that have been famously banned include Lord of the Flies, The Great Gatsby, The Color Purple, the list just goes on and on. Band Book Week was originally created in 1982 and was founded in order to raise awareness and publicity about the banning of books and the negative effects of doing so. No, it is not a week to read books about band. So to support our right to read, I'm going to encourage you to read Lord of the Flies. Here's why. Lord of the Flies is a surprisingly fun story. It's entertaining, it's got heart, it's got lots of great characters, and it's written in such a style that makes it very unique and very much captures the nature of adolescence. The book takes right off when a group of young boys aged 6 through 12 crash land onto an island in the middle of the Pacific in which the pilot and all the other grown-ups aboard the plane are killed. There's a certain power struggle as the boys try to elect a leader and create a sort of organization for the group. The innocence of all of the boys at the very beginning of the novel is extremely clear, but the beautiful thing is the reader gets to experience the metamorphosis of each of the boys as they turn from young children to young adults. But they soon face circumstances that no child should have to go through, and desperation kicks in, leading to very, very scary decisions. He's going savage. The book was banned for extreme graphic and excessive violence, including cannibalism. And these civilized people, they'll eat each other. But the thing is, none of the graphic content in the book is used gratuitously. It's all for furthering the plot, adding character development, and creating new themes that are both heavy, dark, and meaningful. In my opinion, I feel like this book should not be banned at all. In fact, I feel like more schools should actually be reading this just because of some of the great themes about maturity, growing up, and childhood. I think it's, it's a great thing for growing teens to read. It's entertaining. A lot of other books that schools will read aren't. So I think that this is really a, uh, a good book that you might want to check out. Thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure to subscribe below. If you do want to see more, though, I've got tons of other book stuff, including book trailers, one in which the author himself actually commented on and said he really liked. Yeah.